Are you ready? Are you ready? Hi my lovelies, welcome or welcome back to my channel. I hope you are all doing amazingly well. So in today's video, we're going to be talking about new perfumes that I discovered at Essence. But before I start this video, please make sure you are subscribed to my channel. Kindly give this video a thumbs up and let me know what your scent of the day is there's gonna be a little vloggy vloggy at the end of this video so those of you who like vlogs you can watch that and those of you who don't you can just stop you know once i finish telling you the perfumes i discovered now a lot of the perfumes i can't lie to you guys i've not worn them i've not really used them i've tested them once or twice but i will say every brand that you see in the vlog i love i will also like to say that brands that you don't see is either i didn't like them or they had an attitude or i just didn't visit them there is a particular brand that i don't want to name them because i feel like it can be damaging but they are a small brand that not a lot of people know to be honest not a lot of people know them and they are i thought they were nice they've actually sent me samples in the past and i've discussed the brand on my channel in the past when i say in the past i want to say about two years ago they sent me samples and I said to them that I don't really do samples. I don't feel like I can get the full vibe of a perfume without holding a bottle in my hand. That's just a me thing. And they were like, oh, they only make perfumes in small batches and they cannot be sending out full perfumes at the moment. But when they start making bigger batches or more quantity, they will send it to me. They never did. I never followed up. It is what it is. So upon meeting them at Essence, I realized that one of the staff especially was an idiot yes that this person was so rude it's like first of all nobody knows your brand like that nobody knows you should you not be a little bit more friendly i was gobsmacked by the behavior um i think my it's either was myself or my husband that was trying to pick up a perfume and this idiot just grabbed it like we're meant to be testing our perfumes this is what you are at essence for and he grabbed it and it was like oh i think he said something along the lines of no one should be touching the perfumes like and i'm sorry if i'm coming across a little bit rude but i'm literally reliving the moment because i was livid i just thought who the heck are you so that brand i'm not going to mention just because i just don't want people to go to them and be asking questions or whatnot but that is literally one of the worst experiences i had at essence um another experience that i had was a lot of people were staring there was so like i'm sure coco pebs who was also at essence with me will testify that a lot of people were staring and the kind of stares was so hard to pinpoint if you know they liked you if they're looking at you because of your skin color if they're looking at you because they think you're beautiful or it was just it's like a stare like a stare down and i just thought ah what is going on but eventually I realized that some of the people that were staring thought I looked nice. I, actually, I got someone who came to ask me for a photo. They didn't know that I'm on YouTube. They were just like, oh my gosh, you are so gorgeous. May I please have a photo with you? So I'm thinking maybe some people that were staring liked what they saw. Maybe. But the thing is, like, just don't stare at people. If you got something to say, just say it. But I'm going to get on with the video because there's a whole vlog after this video. Um, but don't feel obliged to watch unless you're interested in, like new perfumes you're interested in my journey at essence and you just want to see more of the behind footage of my experience at essence now i want to give i want to give a humongous shout out to marcy marcy on instagram she's also on youtube um this woman is oh she's so dear to my heart i cannot express it enough marcy showed me so much love and she brought me so many things i'm going to share now i have been wanting brown sugar babe for the longest time for those of you who don't know i live in the uk and we're not able to purchase brown sugar babe products and marcy brought me some she bought me hibiscus drive right here can i just say one thing about these oils they feel and smell absolutely incredible like i've always thought that because a lot of the people that i see promote brown sugar babe are your regular people well, not your regular people your um, influencers and i personally this is just a personal thing please don't come for me i don't trust all of these influencers i don't know how much the brand is paying them to say their stuff is good so i can't fully testify that the products are actually as good as everyone is saying it is but in this brown sugar babe case 
this is absolutely insane i could not believe how amazing this smells how incredible it feels on my skin brown sugar babe please ship to the uk like please just ship to the uk let us have access to your product so marcy also gave me caked up now <laughs> this one smells so good i used it last week when i was going to work it has like this slight shimmer about it look at that it has like a slight shimmer it smells like cake it smells oh my gosh it smells amazing i can actually imagine this with my nebras by letafa marcy also got me the pistachio cake butter ice cream body butter when i tell you this pair so well with yum pistachio gelato by kayali this and that together will last you the whole day i promise you this is amazing this is literally like um a consistency of shea butter it's quite moisturized like a whipped shea butter scent um it smells good it smells good the texture is amazing everything about this is perfection i just literally want to eat this she also got me the double caramel mula mula um body oil which smells exactly like the perfume so this is the perfume now this is your caramel your oody caramel scent that just smells so addictive so sexy compliment magnet i absolutely love i've not paired them together yet <laughs> not gonna show you that just yet <laughs> uh, I'm, i've not paired them together yet but they smell so identical i feel like if, when you have this and you top it up with that you are going to get such a delectable mix um i love thank you so much marcy you are so amazing and i'm so so thankful now let's move on to the perfumes now a lot of the brands were sharing um perfume samples they weren't really giving full bottles um bearing in mind i got to essence on the third day because i arrived in italy on the thursday i think essence started on the wednesday but I didn't really get the full experience when I got to Italy because I couldn't check in on time. My hotel was really messing about. The hotel was lovely, but to start with, they couldn't check me in and that, that just really, really annoyed me. So I literally got to Essence at 5 p.m. on that Thursday and I left at 6 p.m. when they were closing. So the second day, my husband and I, we got there super early in the morning. A lot of the brands were really, there were so many. I think they were like, 300 or 400 and not 400 i think it was like 300 um brands there and there was no way i could visit all of them what i should have done is to start on the first day like get to italy maybe on the monday and it still starts on a tuesday and just kind of go every single day uh maybe three four hours a day to be able to visit every single brand but anyhow the highlight of my the highlight perfume wise for me is this perfume right here and this is sweet botswana now this was gifted to me by the perfumer and the owner of the brand and also marcy thank you so much now what i get from sweet botswana is a sweetness a candied sweetness with some florals and it just gives like an element of something i smelled before it just takes me back to i don't know where i'm trying to think of is there a perfume that i smelled before that smells like this i couldn't quite place it but the notes in this perfume are so we have bergamot um orange and raspberry i do get a fruitiness in the opening but it immediately kind of gets into those florals and sweetness in the mid there is white flowers and jasmine and in the base notes we got vanilla praline and musk the musk here i find it to be subtle on my skin i find the praline to be quite forward but ultimately it's such a sweet and luxurious smelling perfume i cannot wait to wear this all year round this is an all year round scent it's not like so sweet that it's cloying but it's very very beautiful and it's definitely a unisex perfume check this brand out if you have not already like check them out it has so many incredible perfumes but these are this is the only one i've had my nose on and i can tell you it is 10 out of 10. i like to also put a spotlight on rosendo matu the brand they are lovely they are so lovely they gave me um samples of um their perfumes five six and seven a lot of people like number five i like number five it's very in your face it's very bright and powerful but for me i think number six is more my jam um number five is a floral amber sensual musk and number six is jasmine sandalwood and an oriental musk 
and then seven is patchouli oud and vanilla my husband also loves seven so this is really really nice like every single one of them are perfection and right, the next brand i'm going to talk about is gritty now with gritty you guys are gonna see the footage after this part of the video the owner was so lovely the staff was just they were so friendly and they were so giving they were very generous they gave me a lot of samples they gave me mango oud like it smells like oud and mango they gave me this they also gave me adele which was one of my favorites as well and i also got um hysterica which is this one right here and they also gave me monica which i also really really love now i'm gonna put the names of the perfumes down below so if you wanted to do your research on them you can do one thing i can tell you is they all smell incredible like these are perfumes that are super likable whatever perfume you may or may not be into you would love these because they are so crowd pleasing they are a niche perfume that smells so stunning i am just truly blessed to have this in my collection now one of my favorite brands of the day was actually epc they are the experimental perfume club they are here in the uk at covent garden check them out on instagram check them out on youtube now they gave me um amber iris fig neroli is my number one fig neroli is so figgy and <laughs> it's very figgy creamy and like i feel like it's such a like a smooth silky type of scent and they gave me get bergamot and incense which was a tiny bit challenging in the opening but i ended up loving it so those are the samples that i received and then I got um, this new perfume by Carna Barcelona. It's called Helix. I sprayed it and instantly I was like, this is a summer banger. This perfume is so nice. And like, it just completely blew me away. I was just like, yeah, I would love that. It had this um, 10 mil that they gave me, which is in like their regular packaging. Now this is their new release. I think it's coming out if it's not already out let me check yeah okay so it's already out and this is it's got bergamot peach it's got sage it's got orange blossom lily of the valley you get cedar vetiver and musk this is giving aromatic and super fresh and citrusy it's got a little bit of greenness to it as well it's a perfect spring scent definitely get your nose on this one if you can um, this is Elix by Kana Barcelona. So another brand that blew me, blew my socks off. Like you guys are going to see the video with all the green bottles. This brand, they have my heart. They have my support. They have my love. They have my loyalty. They have me. <laughs> the owner gave me all of these. All of these. My favorite perfume. I will leave a picture of it over there. Um, I'm hoping to get that perfume into my collection somehow I'm completely in love with every single perfume I smelt on that day Every single perfume was just incredible They had the freshies, they had the gourmands They had the, the florals, they had everything The variety was amazing It was just so mind-blowing um, So these are the sample um, sets that I got this one is a special edition which was kindly given to me so this is what it looks like i believe there is about what 12 perfumes in there is there three six yeah like 10 perfumes in there this is the other one so all in all i've got like 30 different perfumes to sample um which i cannot wait to do but if you guys want to see a video please please let me know i also want to highlight this brand um they made a perfume called sugar daddy and the perfume brand is called fugazi and sugar daddy was given oh my god that perfume was so nice i was definitely blown away by it so i may be adding that to my collection soon there's another perfume that i loved it's called iris shot so this is iris shot but it was actually broken um the brand representative was trying to spray the perfume for us to smell it and it broke and i was like can i have it i've also added a video of that <laughs> somewhere in the vlog when i got back home i put it in here this is a 30 ml bottle and i'm so in love with this perfume if you like a powdery scent definitely get your nose on iris shot right another brand <laughs> that i really loved was panadora sweden 
and they gave me um this perfume sample right here it's called oud republic now what attracted me to this perfume brand was the head of their perfumes it just reminded me of um lord george by penhaligons and changing constants like it just reminded me the packaging reminded me of the portrait collection and i wanted to kind of just i can't remember what the guy said but i like oud republic oud republic was really nice so the last brand i'm going to shine a spotlight on is called lorenzo pazaglia pazaglia they gave me all of this all of this they gave to me my favorite from the um from the collection is sugar kisses oh my god sugar kisses i'm definitely i'm gonna ask them for a full bottle but if they say no for whatever reason i'll buy it like i really 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 love it i've got like six seven samples here but like i said oh another one that was really good was cherry ink that was nothing to do with lush cherry thank god because a lot of cherry perfumes do imitate lush cherry and i'm just i'm just sick of it this one doesn't this one literally stand on its own so those are all the brands that i can yeah those are all the brands that i want to talk about that i love that i'm going to definitely be buying from in the near future or i'll be working with them fingers crossed because their perfumes are lovely and they are lovely themselves so i'm going to leave this video here and i'm going to put in the vlog at the end of this video and i hope you guys enjoy thank you so much for watching please don't forget to comment like and subscribe and i cannot wait to see you guys in my next video enjoy the vlog I used to take myself out on dates Open my own damn doors, pay for everything on my plate Sometimes I'd even get the steak Cause I gotta like that, I was in my own bag Hi my lovelies, we finally checked in By the way, we have been waiting to check in for three hours And I'm livid, I'm very livid But I'm going to try and enjoy the rest of the day um, This is the second day of Essence And it's about 3.30pm in the afternoon and I am thinking we're just going to go and check it out. Well, I have like a brand new day tomorrow. Like I will be up early and I can just spend the whole day enjoying Essence. But I'm going to show you the hotel, um, show you the inside of so our here room. Here is the door and you come in to see the kettle and the kettle bits and bobs. You've got the snacks over there, some wine glasses. And in here is the bathroom. There I am, um, the bath, the sink, and the toilet. See, I don't like when people show toilets when they do vlogs, so I'm not gonna show you guys the toilet, but it's a toilet and it's a bidet here as well. And then we'll move on to the rest of the room. The ceilings are quite high. I don't know if that's, that will showcase how high, high it is. But here, this is a long mirror. Those are our bits and bobs. I'm, I'm, I'm pointing. <laughs> <laughs> Um, so these are, I'm wearing sunglasses because my eyes look tired here, yeah, so don't, don't even watch that. Um, so this is where we've got my clothes, his clothes, we packed very lightly. We've got our um, backpacks over there. His bed is actually quite big, bigger than it looks on camera. It's quite huge. I don't know if I'm capturing it well enough, but it looks like a nice bed. And then we've got some light over there. We have a chair and a table over here with a ton of perfume. This is my husband. He packed like, baby, what did you, what did you bring? He brought Neffs for me. Well, it's not written on it, but this is Neffs. Um, he also brought, what's in here, love? In this uh, one? Lafayette Street. Bon nine. Okay, this is bond number nine, Lafayette Street. And what's the last one you bought? Oh, this is an Cream. oil. Okay, that's a body oil. Cream. Cream. Creed? No, no, Crave. 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 Carve, no, Carved Oud, sorry. Oh, this is Carved Oud. No, that's not it. Okay, that's yeah. not it. Mm -hmm. Okay, never mind. So he bought another one, but anyway, this is uh, oil for his beard. That's his phone. And these are mine. So I got me 
uh, banner. Do you know what? I'm going to sit down, actually, and tell you guys what I bought. But you can see the Lena exclusive over there. Banana, banana is there. I'll show you guys the rest later. We've got another little center table here. And we've got a nice sofa <coughs> over here. And another big, big, big mirror over there. That's basically it. It's pretty simple. It's quite huge. Um, apart from the customer service, um, I like it. Do you like it, baby? Do you think it's nice? Yeah, really. Yeah, it's quite nice. It's giving... Spacious. Yeah, it's very spacious. It's giving a lux. Right, so now we're going to head off to... Oh, I braided my hair, by the way. It hurts. It hurts so much. I don't know about you guys, but I am sick and tired of wigs and weaves and extensions. Well, these are extensions, but I feel like braids are wonderful protective styling for your hair um, just don't keep them on too long because they start to smell funny and they start to pull out your edges and you don't want that i never leave i take off my braids three weeks at the very very most and i leave my hair to breathe for about a week or two before i braid it again so i'm gonna be doing a lot of braiding for some time because i just feel like it's just much better like it's much better than the same old same old weeks and stuff but anyhow i'll see you guys at essence i will show what i can or just maybe i'll show it tomorrow i don't know but i told you guys i'm, I'm tired but i wanted to get a little bit of uh footage in right now but you may think that i know too much but now it's never too much because when push comes to shove girl just trust i won't get sick of us You my salty crush I'm doing something different Your name's been on my tongue My cup's been looking for love You're picking by my walls And baby, let's settle up Cause lately the world's been going crazy And I gon' need somebody to turn Saltine and ginger veil That shit will never fail I keep it tucked my body cause I don't feel well Girl tell me something else I've seen it since you fell That shit will never fail And you may think <laughs> Yeah sure <laughs> So this brand is Simone Andrioli and you guys just heard 
the lady asking me for my YouTube channel. I felt like she was sizing me up. And the moment she saw my YouTube channel, she just tossed me one sample. And it felt very judgy. So I, I, I don't know about that. I just felt a little bit strange after that. Um, and I swiftly left. Well, politely, but I swiftly left. Left. I swiftly left. Oh, Lord. This voiceover. Goodness. Thank you. You can try it. Yeah. Thank you. This number five. Everyone is good. Everyone goes on about it. <laughs> Love them all. Yes. My husband has sweet rose. This is my favorite, one of my favorites. I've already done intense wood. Oh, really? Let me try that. Intense wood, let me try that. Going on about Everyone it. Is it the sing -sing? Oh, thank you. Oh, thanks so much. This is more strong. This is different. That's strong. Yeah. Oh, is that cool? Seven. That's quite strong. Yeah. The five is still my favorite. Yeah. Are you serious? Yeah. I would never have thought you'd love five. Love five is still my favorite. Every time we go out and you wear sweet rose, no. everyone loves you always wear it. Every time. Just okay. Hello. How are you? Good now. <laughs> this is a good display. Right? I want to try it. I want to try. Yes. And the one in this, this, oh my lord. Okay. So this new perfume by Kajal is called I Can. Now this smells delicious. This smells absolutely gorgeous. I remember it had like vanilla, it's um it had praline, it had amber, I think it had sandalwood and it's like a spicy sweet gourmand. I think it's just beyond beautiful and I was talking to the um representative here. She was so knowledgeable, so lovely and I just had a really really good time. Kajal was the most <laughs> sought after brand at Essence. It was packed. There were so many people. Um, I had to go and come back like a few times before I was able to speak to this lady here. But yes, I highly recommend them as a brand. Their perfumes are very long lasting. I didn't actually realize that the brand originated from e Egypt, but their perfumes are made in Paris. <laughs> <laughs> I 
Meeting Fumi Monet was one of the highlights of the whole experience for me. She was so lovely. I got to smell her perfume, Exoté. I said to her that, when is this perfume coming to the UK? Because we can't buy it. We want it, but we can't buy it. So she promised me that she's going to get it to the UK. So you heard it here first. Fumi is going to do her best to get Exoté to the UK. So the UK girlies can wear the perfume. But yeah, it was such a wonderful experience. We were even talking about like our nails. <laughs> our nails were like, we both love red nails. I'd just like to give a huge shout out to my husband who just captured every single moment. I was just like, thank you so much because without him, <laughs> all this footage <laughs> will not be here. But yeah, this brand, this brand is phenomenal. They had so many perfumes that I loved. But Sugar Kisses or Sugar Kiss was my favorite. Honestly, that perfume was just so sweet and sugary and perfumey and sexy. Like it's literally the perfect date night scent, but it's not too sweet for this season. Like you could wear it all year round and I'm just so obsessed with it. Definitely for bottle worthy. Like I said, my husband is always capturing every moment. You are the best, my love. I'm so grateful for this. And obviously, you guys have seen Coco. And it's just, ah, oh, I had the best time. I had the best time. This is one of the best perfumes I've smelled today. Like, it's by Suspiro. And what's this called? I can't read it, but... Raka? Raka. Smells amazing i think it's got a note of marcy what note does he have um there's raspberry, raspberry. there's citruses there's saffron yeah you know this is like it's almost i think there's an imprint do you have the bottle of the bottle of this yes she does this is my favorite i'm just waiting for this maybe now this is a brand i have to work with this year I'm putting it out there. I must work with this brand. I loved every single one of their perfumes. They are based in London, Covent Garden. I will be going to see them soon. Fingers crossed we can collab because I love their perfumes. Like I said, there's a particular perfume that I really fell in love with that I can't mention because it's still in the pipeline. But when I tell you that that perfume, <laughs> my goodness, when it comes out, it's going to go viral. I can tell you that now it's going to go viral. They had a perfume with rhubarb. They had quite a lot of perfumes, but every single one of those perfumes were insanely beautiful. Customer service was top notch. They were such lovely humans. Like they were so lovely, warm and welcoming. I'll definitely be paying them a visit very, very soon. I used to take myself out on dates. Open my own damn doors, pay for everything on my plate Sometimes I'd even get the steak Cause I gotta like that, always have my own bag Never needed no man to rely on Got two good shoulders to cry on I was alright on my own So I've got a little story for you guys So yesterday at Essence, I visited Olfactive Studio And I was testing out some of their perfumes And while they were spraying this Or they were about to spray this for my husband the owner broke the bottle and she was gonna chuck it so she opened a new one i was just like may i have this bottle please and she said oh, oh, okay why not so basically she gave me a full bottle of iris shot as you guys can see here focus camera and um so my husband basically thought the best way to do this is to put it in a we bought this body oil, so we've poured out the body oil into a water bottle. Then we washed it, so we're gonna pour this into the body oil. And then when I get back to London, I'm going to put that in the atomizer so I can use it. So moving forward, when I speak about Irish shop, just know I did have the bottle, but it's broken. But actually, let me show you. Okay, so this is it. <laughs> broken. <laughs> Thank you, Olfactive Studio, for giving me this. I appreciate it. Yeah. I'm going to take the leather sleeve. Introducing the new. <laughs> Johnson so <laughs> uh, This was genius, though, that you thought of this. 
quite a tall drop because i want you guys to know the, the bottle is very thick very very thick bottle um but i didn't see the drop i just heard it so my husband was like right there and he just saw like it was like quite a high high drop <clears throat> but here we are and it's really nice like this hotel that we're at Me where's it going to be melia right it's um they have that the ritual stuff which is quite nice this particular uh, what's it called? Sacred Lotus and Jujubi. I guess that's a whole bar, but who knows? Yeah, it's quite good actually. I told you guys about showing toilets. Like I hate people showing toilets when they do vlogs. So I would never ever show a toilet. It just no. But the bath is really really nice. I really enjoyed my shower, and we're gonna be ready to leave shortly. And so the perfumes I bought are, this is um, Annie by Nishane. I have not even sprayed it once. I think I overpacked my perfumes. You guys know about Annie. Um, this is a new one that I have in my collection that I'm definitely going to get a bottle of it. Um, this is, this is Bulgari's um, Bachiami. This is absolutely insane. This is gorgeous. It's like a vanilla with some nuttiness and creaminess. It's really, really something. It's very special. It's very, very highly projecting. It's long lasting. It's it's fire. I love it. I'm definitely getting a full bottle soon. There we are. I brought my Cherry Ambition. This was sent to me in PR together with the 50 ml bottle. I haven't used this either. This is probably one of my favorite cherry perfumes ever. It's amazing. It doesn't smell like lost cherry. It, this is like, it stands its ground. It's oh, divine. It's divine. I just love it. And over here, I have my Love Don't Be Shy atomizer. Um, this was actually in a gift set with Love Don't Be Shy when I bought it. Um, this is a 7 mil sample. I love this packaging. It's very heavy as well. And this is it. Let me show you what it looks like. And this is it. Okie dokie. I have here. I bought too much. I brought way too much. Um, Ambre Nui by Christian Dior. You guys already know. I love this perfume. It's one of my favorite by the Christian Dior Privé line. Um, I did also bring my. This is from my um, Arabs Advent Calendar, and this is Gentle Fluidity Gold, right here. I've always thought this perfume was like basic i don't think anything is that special about it but i think people love it because it's simple but i've grown to really fall in love with it recently so i really really enjoy it it's very easy to wear perfume it has something that smells to me like um one of the montar perfumes i don't know what it is i could i can just smell something that reminds me of a roses musk or something like that okay so banana banana by Lartisan. I love this. My best, most favorite banana perfume in the whole world. It's so, so divine. I love it immensely. And last but not least, I bought my Udgasm by Kayali. Let me wipe it down. Um, this is Oud Vanilla. It smells wonderful. The Oud here is silent. It's not too strong it's so likable this is one of my this is my second favorite in the oudgasm line um, but this 10 mil does not have the notes at the back of it which is um, I don't know if they ever have the notes at the back but I love it nevertheless definitely full bottle worthy in my opinion a lot of the oudgasm line is wonderful um, I did try the new one I think it's oud smoke or smoky oud I was shocked by how beautiful that was. It actually doesn't smell masculine. Um, so I'm definitely going to get that into my collection sometime soon. So those are the perfume. Ooh, one more. 
and I brought my 30 mil Delina exclusive by Performance Zamali. I love this perfume so much. <laughs> This perfume gives me joy. This perfume is perfection in my eyes. I got so many compliments with this yesterday. Literally everyone that hugged me said I smell so, so lovely. And yes, 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 yes. I I love, I love this perfume. It's, uh, it's rose, it's oud, it's creamy, it's beautiful, it's feminine, it's floral, it's amazing. So those are all the perfumes I bought for the trip. And this is the one I've worn the most, these two. <clears throat> together with um Bacciami by Bulgari and I also did bring my bad I did bring um Oud bouquet as well I did let me find it I did bring Oud bouquet which is in this atomizer let me Yeah, this is my oud bouquet. I took out the atomizer to show you. Yeah, and I also brought oud satin mood, which um, I've chopped because I've used it. But yeah, those are all the perfumes I bought. The weather in Italy is kind of, it's still cold, but it's not freezing. The weather has been lovely, but today has been quite raining. Making my way back to London shortly. I'm very excited to come home and edit all these videos and share it with my loves all of you guys um, I don't know if I'm gonna wrap up here maybe not but we'll see <laughs>